Uh, now we'll start how to prepare business tax return for e-file and how to clear diagnostics in Drake. Thank you for watching my video. Just a quick interruption. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just to tell you that I do sell online courses. So if you go to the, my website, remotecpnla.com, it will give you more information about online courses that I sell and what I teach and with more information about me, agenda on what we do. We have a weekly calls. We go over the... Um, different kind of uh, issues or problems we can have in a tax software. So in the end of this one month course, you'll be able to prepare like a complex tax return in any tax software you choose. Thank you again. Please continue watching my video. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to tell you that I do watch, I do sell the online courses on the different tax preparation. So if you go to my website, remotecpanla.com, it will give you more information about what kind of tax softwares I'm specializing in, agenda about our um, online course. And so we have like a weekly meetings. We uh, like in the end of that course, you'll be able to learn to do like a super complex tax return in the tax software you choose. Thank you so much. Please keep watching. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to tell you that I do sell online courses. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt my video. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt my video. I just want to say that I do sell online courses and different tax preparation software. So if you go to my website, Remote CPA in LA, it will give you more information about tax softwares I'm specializing in, more information about me, and then content for agenda for online course. So it's a one month course and we go over all topics that are here. And weekly we have um, our calls, a group calls, and in the end of the course, you would be able to prepare a complex tax return in the software you choose. All right, sorry to interrupt. Keep watching your video, please. <laughs> All right, so let's start with it. So usually, like, like I said in previous video, when we go to calculate, we see like all this um, diagnostics we need to clear. But also to prepare it to e-file, we have to go to electronic filing section. And here we have to check ready for e-file. Here we also have to check, check state that so I'm going to pass for now. So we'll start with e-filing for federal. Then we go to e-file authorization. So we have to enter um, the PIN code uh, that I just entered. Right here, we do need to enter partner's information, their first name. So let's just say I would do test test for this port purposes, uh, social security number, title, and signature date. So uh, you can just use, I'll just use today's date, which is October 4th. 4th. All right, so, and let's just go through pretty much all diagnostics that we have. Missing partnership name, let's see. Yeah, so this is, oh, doing business, partnership name. So we do have partnership name. That has to do with something else. So sometimes it says it has to do with one diagnostics, but it's actually something else. Uh, so let me see. Let me try to clear most of them, and then we'll come back to this first one to see what it's actually mean. Uh, recovery period. Uh, so, AMT, we can uh, cl double click on this mistake to read all of it. So, let's say, so you have entered recovery period of more than 50 years. Okay, sure, because I entered 180 months. 180 months is, I think it's five years. No, I'm sorry, it's 15 years. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so when I go there, so I just need to change it. And I think I was talking about that in that previous email. Oops, not there. So I go here and change the life to 15 years. and that diagnostic disappear. Another diagnostic, it has something to do with K1, K2, K3s, because our 
uh, we don't have foreign income or expenses so I can just click right here schedule k2 and k3 are not required so that diagnostic disappeared uh, all right so this one says that we're missing representatives name okay got it so what we can do there is two way to fix it and I'm gonna show you so one of them we go uh, so we need to assign partnership representative so we can go under schedule K uh, partner and then right here we can enter um, there is an option here to set he's uh, assigned the I'm sorry the partner to sign the return and be a representative so that should fix that error uh, let's see what else is out here so the first uh, diagnostic that I thought will come back later pretty much telling me that invalid partnership name and it tells me what is not like what is acceptable everything is not like acceptable so when I jump to this diagnostics I understand that it should be no like any signs behind besides the ones that they mentioned so now that diagnostic disappeared another one it tells me that we need to add partnership representative name and or address but I also know that it's probably has something to do with the address um, partners address so let's see name number missing okay I'll take a look what this means but I also remember that I didn't enter a uh, partner's name so I'm just gonna go here and enter uh, address for partners uh, so after I entered partners um, addresses for both of them that diagnostics about like representative address or something else disappear so now we're up to around one two three four five five diagnostics so let's see what is missing here missing information so I think this one doesn't I might have not maybe this is not ID number or oh, entity name for some reason I think I messed it up so this one was what was it A B C L C no it was something else let's see A A L O C so now we're up to four diagnostics almost there uh, for this guy I think let's just do it differently one two three four five six seven eight nine is that enough yep three diagnostics yeah let's see what this one says okay I think that 999 doesn't uh, it's not doesn't it's not acceptable for Drake so for presentation purposes I'll replace it to one two three four nine all right two diagnostics a uh, no answer has been provided for k1 did the partner contributed build then gains or loss so it has to, the answer should be no but I don't really see where oh well, here you go M so it takes me here but it's actually in reality it should be go here and we might need to do that for both of them so I'm just gonna say no for, for both k1 entry to make sure we don't have to go back there so now we're up to one diagnostics invalid or missing ID number cannot be all zeros all, all nines cannot be all nines okay so let's see what did I enter okay cool so let's do the same and hopefully that will fix that so we did fix all diagnostics but the e-file status here still shows that it's not ready so sometimes uh, not all diagnostics show up in here some of them show up in here under messages so let's say what it says prior year income must be present okay so i have to go screen sec and under general that should be total let's see so let me find it total prior uh, I'll put zero for this presentation but that should be I mean whatever the prior year was net income was so let's see I hopefully that diagnostics is clear so now we have one left 
missing partnership representative phone number. That's easy. And it tells me to go under or screen K1 or screen B. So let's go under screen K1. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant right here. And for this guy, I just need to find a place to enter his phone number. And let me find it. His ID number, his title, professional, phone number. Let's see if it works. I'm going to put my phone number. Ta-da! And our federal tax return is ready for e-file. So this is how we clear diagnostics for business tax return. Hope that was helpful. Thank you. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or email, it to, email any questions you have to me. And thank you for watching my video.